Welcome to day eight. This week I decided I'm not going to eat anything that I really don't want to eat. I'm still going to eat from the BuzzFeed menu, but if there's an item on there that I know that I'm really going to dislike and probably take one bite of and then throw away, I'm just not going to cook it because I don't want to waste the food. So that meant when I went to the grocery store yesterday, I bought a bunch of spinach instead of kale and I bought chicken instead of pork because I don't eat red meat. That ended up meaning that for breakfast today, I had a fried egg and the leftover sweet potatoes with no collard greens because why bother? I knew that it was going to be enough food, and so I didn't want to cook it. So I didn't. And it was still pretty good. I'd give it, I mean, maybe a B minus because it wasn't like a beautifully put together dish, but a B minus for taste and an A minus for preparation because it was pretty easy. I also skipped lunch today because I was super duper busy, so I combined my favorite parts of lunch and dinner to make a super dinner that was super duper delicious. It was like, it was probably one of the best homemade dinners I've ever had. Like, not just BuzzFeed meals, but oh my god, I was like loving it. I was so full, but I like ate it all anyway. Ugh, so good. So I'm giving that one an A plus for taste and I don't know, a B for preparation. Today is day nine and I am feeling fine, yeah. Marissa's rep of the day. So I just got back from work. Today was a pretty all right day food wise. Breakfast was amazing. Oh my God, little egg muffin things. I would make those again. Wow, maybe with fewer red peppers, but A plus Buzzfeed, probably the best breakfast I've had this challenge. And you'll notice that for my lunch, I substituted the kale for spinach. That was a good choice on my part. It really wasn't anything special anyway though, so I'm gonna go ahead and give it a B minus and an A for preparation. Dinner wasn't super special either. It wasn't bad, but I'm not a big fan of cooked red peppers for some strange reason. Um, so that might be a personal problem, but I'm gonna give it a C plus for taste and probably a B plus for preparation. So it's day nine and I'm starting to see the light at the end of the tunnel and I've been reaching for that light. I have started planning what my first few meals are gonna be on the Sunday after I finish this and I am so excited for them. There's a place that I haven't tried yet but I've heard that their food is really amazing and they have gluten-free French toast and on the menu it looks so delicious. So that is gonna be my first meal. I cannot wait. I have been Googling gluten-free bakeries like it's nobody's business. I found my top four and I put them all on a map so I know exactly where they are and how long it's gonna take me to get to each of them. I'm probably just gonna go on a field trip and go to all of them in one go, cause it's kinda U-shaped. So I'll just go like, doo -doo -doo, whoop, and then pick up like a hundred donuts and some brownies and muffins and bread and oh my God, I'm so excited. And then what would this first day be without pizza? I haven't planned exactly where yet. I'm thinking maybe California Pizza Kitchen cause there's one close to me and their gluten-free pizza is so good. But I'm gonna do a little bit more shopping around on that one first cause I want it to be the best. So yeah, planning my future meals has been what has been getting me through these last few days and hopefully will help me get through the rest of the challenge. I'll see you on day 10.